Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are looking at us at this time of the day. Today is September 1st, September to remember. We are all happy. Today is a Sunday, a hero day, and we are all here. Thank you all for coming. Our topic of today is a very interesting one. It's the code and data discovery and uh, inspiration. So, I don't know anything about data. I don't know anything about discovery, but I think I might say something about inspiration. So for the part of inspiration, I am so happy and I am great that we are at that level that uh, all of us can finally see the end of our tunnel where we have been driving. And uh, we are very thankful for our CEO for all the great job that he has done for us under the, 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 the scene. I mean, he has gone through a lot. And uh, but we have some special people here tonight that understand the code and the data, and they will be able to alight it for us so that all of us will be in the same place and get it better. Because those guys, the OTEC Pro, they give it simple. They make it very simple for everyone to understand. So at this moment, I'm going to ask uh, to one of our brother to give us something about the the code or about the data about the everything that is going on you know from wednesday to friday from thursday because 360 this week were on thursday and friday night what our ceo have told us and i'm going to just call of my brother vincent ete and i know he know this thing better than all of us sitting down here vincent please can you enlighten us on the code. Hello, Let's everyone. Go. Thank you, uh, my sister Marcian. Thanks, everyone, to come here. So today is a great uh, hero webinar, and today is first September. So happy New Year month for everyone here and those who are watching us. So we know on Thursday when our CEO came, he told us about the source code and then also about the database. So source code, I will leave that source code, my brother. Collins will talk to us about source code, but today I will talk about the database, the the, the, the process, what happened and what Mr. Hash have done. Because uh, when Mr. Hash was talking, he said about the database, I know the IT guys, they can explain more so that we can get it exactly what Mr. Hash mean, what he's trying to tell us exactly. So when he, he's talking, he was talking about the database. So what happened, the, the data recovery? The data recovery is the process of recalling when uh, or recovering data from any storage media or anything like that. So following maybe like data loss. So we use that to recover the data when anything happened in the IT environment or IT world. So that's why they do it, the data recovery to recall everything and then get it back. And then we have a uh, two system that we mostly use in the data recovery environment. We have a backup and a recovery. So this also, they are two essential for safeguarding and restoring data when necessary. So when we're talking about backup, what is backup is backup when you are using all the information, every single company, they use all the data of the company is the copy of the data. So the copy, every single information of the company that they call it backup. So when anything happen, we use it to restore the data. So this is called also sometimes recovery. So in that environment, business continuity, like Mr. Ash did for us, we call it business continuity. So Mr. Ash, someone who think about the future, what is coming soon. So building the business, they also put in place what they call a business continuity. So business continuity, what is it? Business continuity is the system to back up because I have opportunity myself to ask him the question. If we have that in place, the backup, then Mr. Ash said to me, he answered me that yes, we have a backup and then we have a disaster recovery system. So this system is put in place. So business continuity is backup and disaster recovery. So we copy the all the data of the company when we have a problem like right now, the issue we have, we can use the disaster recovery to recover all the systems. So that's what Mr. Ash have done. And then that's why he said all the database recover 100%. So 
So nothing is lost. We have everything. When you say the data, the all the database will recover hundred percent. Inside the database, what we have, we have like Okonet, Omer, all every product we have in the ecosystem. This is called all inside the database. And then inside the database, we have also our personal data, like your name, visa data is there, Collins Mana, uh, Bob Takosi, everyone data is there. So including our password, email, everything, this inside the database. So even some people, they are worried about the wallet, nothing's lost. When you go to your wallet, what you to see in your wallet, everything will be there. So that's why he said the database is recovered 100%. So all our information, everything we use on passive in the ecosystem is recovered. Everything is there 100%. Nothing is lost. So this is the, 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 the genuine of the business continuity that Mr. Ash has put in place. So we have to thank him for that great job he has done for on passive. Because of that, we haven't lost anything. Every single information we have on passive Everything is there before the 24th June. All everything we host, everything is in place. So it was able with uh, this, I was able to recover everything. So we should thank him again for this great uh, job that he has done for us. So I'll leave uh, my brother Collins to also illustrate about the Sus code because they all both working together. So that's what I'll leave it there, Sister Marcia. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Brother Vincent. And uh, I'm glad you called on Brother Collins because uh, I was going to ask him to follow up. You know, I know that this, he, I from the long time that I've been following you guys, the OTEC Pro, he always go similarly. So, Brother Collins, please, can you pick up from there and give us all, please? Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Marcia. Uh Just want to thank everyone here for attending the Heroes webinar today. Today is the first. First of September. First of September is always a good month <laughs> in on passive. Yeah, so we are grateful and blessed to be alive and to you know to be part of this great company. So yeah, so my brother Vincent have talked about um data because the two things our CEO said, and you know, when he uh, spoke about this, he was like, you know, it's just like sweat. He said, now we've just got everything. You know, he talks about getting the source code and talks about getting our data. So we, we, we have 100% recovery of the data and we have 100% recovery of the source code. So what is really source code? Vincent have already talked about um, um, data recovery. So what is source code? Source code is the fundamental programs of a computer. You know, every program that we have in the computer is source code. Whatever program, you know, we're talking about web application, we're using web application, all of these, they are all programs. Say you talk about O-Connect, you talk about O-Mail, talk about um, O-Net, all what we have, even the OES, the, the, uh, the, 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 the co-founder, the O-Founder, all of those, they are all computer programs. And what is running behind which we don't see is called source code. It's something that the computer, the engineers, they build, they write it in a special language and they have their own language using sub, something like a scripting language to write everything. But we are using just the front end, what we can see, but what is running behind, you cannot see it. Without that particular component, there is no way a computer can have a program. Now, imagine that they've built all of this for six years and counting. Remember, they started with spreadsheet. Spreadsheet, Mr. I said, no, we cannot continue with spreadsheet. Let's build something called maybe go founder where founders can start to interact with the system. They build that. More than how many years ago? Was it five years ago? We moved to all of that. All every step of the way, they have been building it, writing programs. And it is costly. You know, all of a sudden, what happened? Disappeared. So everything just vanished. You know, we're moving from step to step, but all those programs, they are still there. Even if they disable it, we can't say like GoFounder, we can't say over. they are still there. Imagine what we don't even know. The one that we know disappeared. Think about what we don't know disappeared. Do you think the CEO will be happy or which company will ever be happy? Because it takes time and effort to build all of this, to write all of this program. And it costs a lot of money. Sometimes we are thinking about six years is six years of hard work and six years of continued paying of the engineers. 
you know, and you're looking at source code. Without the source code, there is no database because every call of the source code must have a call from the database. So all of these, like Vincent said, everything works hand in hand. If you have all 100% data recovery, what can you do with the data? If there is no there is no code, there is no front end for people to interact with that data, it means nothing. If you have source code and there is no data, there is no way you can interact because where are you getting the data? There is no machine, there is no information about you, but the, the program is there. You know, so these two goes hand in hand. And to get that, you know, if someone temper with the data or temper with that code, with that program, you are done. And that's why it must be protected. Every company, not only on passive, every major company, IT company on this planet Earth. And if you want to go online, you have a business, you want to go online. So, all right, um, let's say Chris Johnson is, um, we call, not Chris Johnson, Peter Rogers, said, I want to go online now with my business, with my shop. What will happen? He needs someone to sit and write those programs. And those programs will tell you, okay, if Peter Richard is selling, maybe milk is selling, maybe rice here, yeah, all of those things you need to input it. That is data going now to the database. Because when somebody will come, want to buy something, say, okay, I'm looking for this. You make your search. I'm looking for this on Peter Richard's side. They'll tell you where it is. You pay your money, cash in and cash out. You know, that is program. Imagine after I heard of that, I said, okay, now I'm tired of getting customer. I want to get customer all over the world. Build that program. It takes years upon years. Someone just come behind and then sweep everything away. That is just total chaos because it's just like they have just come in your shop and delete everything. You have a house, but there is no, there is no, there is no, there is nothing inside. You know, there is no product for you to buy. So what we are talking about source code is our product. So it's like we have a house, Hyderabad. We have this house, we have here, but there is no business because they have already deleted. So that, you know, when Ash came and said, we are down, now we are back up. My first thing I was thinking like, do we have our source code back? Do we have all this product? Because source code is just computer jargons. It's just a jargon, it's the product. Do we have it? The programs, are they still running? Are they running smoothly? What if they temper with the data? What if the, the source code is 100% there and the data is clean all the data? You cannot find Marcel. Marcel, you go, you try to log in. They said this, this, this information doesn't exist. I want to try to log in this information because there's nothing in the database that delete everything. So to recover that, that is the most exciting, you know, day of my life. And I think everybody will hear this, that you recover everything 100% thinking about your wallet, if there was something there and then they delete it. So you come, there is no proof that you have that type of whatever old coin in your wallet. There is no proof. Where would they get it? I can't just go and tell me, I know I had this before. Screenshot, no, I, do, I can't believe it because people can do Photoshop. So to recover all of this information, 100% is the best day for Unpassive and for all of us, the founders and affiliate. Because infrastructure doesn't mean anything. Hardware. If I hold my USB and you cannot get it, I have my backup, break my laptop. The moment I get a new laptop, I plug in, all the information will come back. What if they delete all those information? Laptop doesn't mean anything. Laptop is infrastructure. Let's put it that way. So infrastructure costs money, but it means nothing if you cannot get all those data and source code. So that's why I want to leave it. And it's just the best day for Unpassive. Wow, wow. Thank you. Thank you, Brad Collins. If we are not happy at this point, I don't know what we have been listening for the past uh, five to six years for some or two years for some of us. Thank you guys so much. But you say that uh, the source code is like products. So now it's, it's, it's the, our product that we have in the house. Now, how can we secure it? I know that we have some of our old tech pro here that they talk more about security. And I'm going to call upon my brother, Olive Fonte, to tell us how can we secure this so that next time somebody else will not temper to come to our home. What, what kind of key do you have to lock this door, uh, Uncle Oliver? Yeah, hi, everybody. Um, happy Sunday. And uh, I know we should be very happy. I want to thank Vincent and uh, colleagues for breaking it down to for us to understand. Um, but when we come to the security side, to the security side of it, remember what our CEO has been very, very particular about security. 
And uh, for what they just said, just, 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 just think that we had nothing, and then, then, then they want to recover it. They want to like start building it again. At that time, the time that it, that is going to take for them to be, it might be, maybe it might be one year. We'll, they will have to go back again, start waiting for us to do whatever thing, even if they recover some of the data. Even if they recover some of the data, but we will still have time for them, for the for the for the programmers, the IT guys, them to start building, to start building again. Then there's one other thing that the CEO the CEO told us that there was internal threat, and that some people who were internal that wanted to to mess us up at the bed, they're no longer with us, and that internal threat, we know. Yes, we had it before. We had we had security measures that were in place to prevent that internal threat should not happen. But I think this time around, know who our CEO is, he is going to put serious security measures again. He is going to tighten the security. There's something we call entitlement. Entitlement is you you perform a task based on the, or the, the, the task of job or the task that you've been given. The permission you'll be you'll be given permission. Let's say some a teller in the bank, a teller in the bank doesn't know what he has only your your personal your checking account and your savings account. He or she doesn't know anything that more. Just to get into your account, see how much is there in your checking account and and then your balance there is your savings and give it to you. So this is to prevent those internal threat not to happen. Anymore, we had it before. I know we had it before, but now there will be more that tools that I know the CEO, based on who who know that he is, he's going to tighten it again. And for any other thing coming there, because there will be a lot of movement now of data, everything will be secured and everything is going to be fine. And like my brother Vincent talked about the database, all the data that are going to be stored wherever they're going to be stored. It's also going to be secure, so there should not be there should be no panic about anything or that our data that we, we are going to have um, uh, uh, missing of data or whatever or how are we going, when they recover those data are we going to have everything one hundred percent and how is it going to be stored when it is stored is it going to be secure yes we are fine and we are good to go I will leave my brother Bob to come in with um, compliance because based on all this they are going to, the, the the compliance also. It's going to kick in. Maybe what they did before, everything is going to be, is going to move over to wherever the data is is is, is being is being um, restored. So, my brother Bob, please take it from there. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you, brother Collins. Otay Pro making it simple for all of us, brother Bob. We know that you are going to give us that part, that final key. Take it from there and tell us how we are going to be more secure forever again things like this will happen yes ma'am greetings from Berlin. this is your brother bob yes uh thank you to all my brothers who've spoken before me but let me just take us back a little bit uh to bring in perspective uh, what happened what mr ash said on um on tesla and opassive 360. number one he said our site went down due to mismanagement and some people were responsible for it and most of them are no longer with us that's number one and then he further said something pop up on my screen here he further said things got complicated because it was intentional. Tying, tying back to what my brother Oliver is just saying, that that's an insider trade. That's that's uh that's not good, you know, because an insider trade is one of uh, is every company's worst nightmares. Like you have an enemy working within, you don't know. You can have all the controls, all the compliance, uh security controls in place, HR compliance in place, everything that you need to do in place, but you cannot determine what is in somebody's heart when they come to your company to work for you. You will do their background checks. They will sign their, their non-disclosure forms and everything, but you don't know. So when you have an insider, insider that trade like this, it is really, really, really hard for the company. But you set guardrails uh, and uh, uh, safeguards and countermeasures, which is what our founder Mr. Ash is, go, is going is actually in the process of implementing. You make sure there are, you know, guardrails and countermeasures so that you can prevent. Uh, uh, things like this to happen. But when he said that, we have recovered everything 100%. Our data and our source code. And we, we all breath this sigh of relief. Because that means that we can now come back to wherever we were 
prior to the system being taken down. Okay. So, but now, what are they going to do to make sure everything is correct? There are a few steps that are going to take that they are taking to make sure we are we are we are actually at the right place and things are, are, are in place. They would look at the code. You have millions and millions of lines. I talk maybe tens of millions of, of lines of code that have been written. So they have to go back and look at it again, make sure, you know, if 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 this thing was done intentionally. It means that they can intentionally throw something in, inside the code, right? So they will go back now and they will look, they'll do what we call static code analysis. They'll look through the code. Like it's automated, it can be automated and you know, and stuff. You look through, make sure there is no bug within. Go through the code, dynamic analysis, dynamic code analysis, you know, vulnerability scanning. They will scan and make sure everything is in place. And then they'll look at their their compliance regulations as well. The federal security controls that have to be in place in correlation with the with the with the rules uh, 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 governing uh, systems and stuff like that. All those things are going to be revisited just to make sure we are back where we were at the time that the systems went down. Remember, the primary objective of every IT information security division is to guarantee to make sure that. The, the guarantee the confidentiality, the integrity, and the availability of the system of, of the system within that, that framework. So we know that having recovered all this database, all this database and, and our source code, they are now trying to guarantee that confidentiality to make sure that okay, the, our system is what it is, it is how it was before, and nobody can have this access to this system. You know, the integrity is also guaranteed to make sure only those who have to have the right to certain areas of the system or access to data and stuff like that will have that access. And then, of course, making sure the system comes back up. That's what Mr. Ash is in the process of giving us back now, the availability of that system. They are going to bring it back up. He told us that this was the best day in his life in the past three months because now we are back to that point where he can say, okay, our source code, you know we can we can we can check off our source code that this source code is accurate it is correct it has not been tempered with we can bring it back up the integrity of that code is there no, nobody touch anything we we'll only give access to those who need to have this access and now we're going to pop it back up open and once to pop it back all open what did mr ash say he says that once this system comes back up he's going to tell us the next phase immediately thereafter we're going to be moving to the next phase, which is what we are all with, which is what I term the beginning of the greatest shapes of our lives. So having said all this, I think it is fair for us now to say that really our founder, Mr. Ash, number one, his focus, his eye is at the price, is like a laser, his focus, he knows what exactly we need to do, the steps that we need to take to get us out of this place where we are. Number two, He's steady. He's a steady man with a steady hand. Who knows? Who does not panic? I'll tell you. I can guarantee you. Someone else who, 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 who had this uh, stress up his heart for the past few months will give up. Will chicken out. Mr. Ash says no. He's not going to chicken out because he has a steady hand and he's prepared. Always prepared. Always have a, 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 another um, plan A, B, and C like he told us. And then he ended up yesterday by telling us that. Uh, uh, on 360 by telling us that we have two plans now, A or B, and within the next 30 days, we should be, you know, where we were supposed to be maybe a couple of years ago. So with that, I'm going to send it back to, to you, Marcien. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you, Uncle Bob. That was well and light, and I believe that we all understood what you, the old tech pro guys are telling us and uh, for everybody that is watching us now and, li and listening to us, what we have gone through from our own perspective was something very serious, very, very serious. But the CEO that we have is someone very cool, someone very intelligent and someone that focus and know where he's going. He have never make us panic. He, 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 look, he just take it like very simple. He did not even let us feel like something was going on. We were coming in every day. 
That's what we call somebody with integrity and somebody who know exactly what he want for the people. He has his goal, he has his vision, and all he wants is to get where he has wanted from the one. That's our CEO, Mr. Ash Mufara, and we cannot only thank him for all of this. But talking about our OTEC Pro, we know our brother here, we have uh, Engineer Mike, he always, always chip in a lot of things from the OTEC Pro guys, and because he himself pick a lot of things of this technology, I believe that he has something to tell about what his brother does, just said, from left and right, he can go from there. Engineer Mike, over to you. Hello, hello, Mama. Say hello, heroes. We are all heroes. Happy Sunday and happy 1st of September, everybody. Thank you, Uncle Bob. Thank you, Uncle Oliver, my brother Vincent and my colleagues. So we, I really appreciate you people for breaking this down to us. Now, I want to take it in another directive or direction. So let's see. In, a, in, a, in, a, in IT or information technology, when you come to companies, they have what they are working. They, every, every company has its own environment, okay? So what we call, there is a standard environment or like um, or a standard or generic, we call it, right? So there are three of them. The first one is a dev environment or the development environment. You see where all the developers, they come there, they they build the source code. Our brother just told us about the source code. They build up the sales code. They build up the all the scripts that are being run in your system if it is automated. Then when they finish there, the developers finish, they take it on to the testing environment. Okay, the test or they call it QA, QC, quality assurance or, or testing environment. These guys will test now their code to see if these codes are working, be it the source code, be it the scripts. Now, when they finish on there, the send is true. I know that the last stage of it is called the development environment. Okay, so, so that development, sorry, is called the, uh, the production environment or prod environment. Now that prod environment is where you go live to, this, to the world now. The world will click on that website now, start doing things. Now, let's say it again. This is a generic or a standard. We call it the, the dev environment, the test or QA, QC, or the last one is a, the prod, which is a production. Now, look at what we have in unpassive. Our brother Vincent just told us. We don't have only that. We have the test, the, the, the dev environment, which is the, the developers develop the code and all of that, source code. Then they send it now to the testing or the QA. When they test it, they send it now to another environment, which is the disaster recovery, or it's called disaster recovery or the pre-production environment. This is where it is the same as the uh, production environment, but as it is created, it has the same functionality as a production. It is disaster recovery. So everything that is supposed to go online it's been tested again in that same particular environment for security reasons and for more um, uh, the, the life history or lifespan of your environment. That is a huge thing. For, so, so it is a lot of money for companies to have that kind of a setup. It's not every kind of company can get that kind of a setup because it costs a lot of money to run a disaster recovery or a pre-production environment. So what happens is that in that pre-production environment, it is the same as a production environment. But the difference is that it is being tested there. Then when anything goes sour on the production environment, then it automatically comes straight back to the pre-production or disaster recovery, which is something that is very, very um, advisable to the IT people, but it is very expensive, right? So there is also this way that our brother talked about the disaster recovery. There is a lot that, I mean, like, there are two ways of them, these, these things to be um, to be recovered, right? Because if you, if you are there, there are two ways. If it is less severe, the disaster recovery process, okay? 
if it is less severe, you can just use software and you um, retrieve the data and all of that. But if it is more sophisticated, it needs uh, more, if the cases are more complex, it needs such as physical damages and uh, extensive uh, and uh, physical damages on the on your devices, be it the SSD, be it your server, be it your USB drive. If they are more cor corrupt, corrupted like that, the data is more corrupted. They need like um, a lot of um, specialized services to to um, untangle everything and recover your data. Which brings us to the four steps now that you need to to follow while recovering your data. You have to do an assessment, okay, to determine the extent of the damage. Then you need to do uh, the data analysis to scan on Kubot Tolos. You have to scan it to see that the medias that you use for storage, be it a USB, be it your SSD, um, you can get some recoverable data on there. Then the recovery process itself, you need to extract and restore the usable data. Okay, then the last one Uncle Bob still told us is the verification process. You need to verify to see that um, all the data that was recoverable can be usable. Because if you recover a data that is not usable, it makes no sense, right? So those are the processes, Mama C. That's what I can add today for this our round table. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Engineer Mike. With all this, uh, this great Thing that we are learning here and let me tell you guys all of knowledge that they are giving to us free this knowledge we are getting here if somewhere somehow we have to learn it from we have to pay a lot of money for that this is one of the things that on passive as making all of us some of us today become an it or i tech or anything in the technology free of charge so and uh, i hear engineer mike talk about a lot of money that he spent when you have to build this uh, this web this uh, products or this uh, data center and everything but i know that andy our brother here know a little bit about number and uh, he's more qualified to tell us about number where we are now and how much we have lost. <laughs> but now we are here with all our goods in the hands. So brother Andy, if you can tell us how much we have lost and where we are and where we're going from now. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi Marcian. Um I don't think we need to say how much we've lost particularly. It's really what's coming. I mean, uh, the, thankfully, the guys have been able to explain this source code stuff because I haven't got a clue. Um, uh, but it's obviously important that we've been, been able to recover everything and and that uh, all of our data is safe. Um, as, as far as numbers are concerned, obviously, from the, from the point of view of, of O-Connect, what our CEO decided to do was not to to um, continue to charge people until he was happy with everything. So what he could have done um, was continue to charge the the um, the fee that we had going for the three monthly um, or or reduce that down perhaps to a to a monthly figure and have people continuing to pay in that. But that wasn't fair. That wasn't a system that he wanted to set up. That wasn't the the idea behind getting to to utilise the products. The the system he wanted to employ and, and uh, has set up is to say, you know, you you, you paid the once. Um, we've given you that back in um, uh, credit, in effect. Uh, uh, for the for the product but we want you to pay for the product once and then you never need to have to go out of pocket again so that was the object of the exercise and and he's kept his promise he could well have charged us i get that and if you think about it you know if you've got a million clients and it's a hundred dollars a month it's a hundred million a month nice and straightforward that's 1.2 billion a year this is what could have come into on passive, but hasn't. And there's, a, but there's a reason for that. There's a reason why Mr. Ash chose not to continue to do that. And I personally, I think that's a great thing. 
um, it's not only the fact that he's he wants to keep his word, but more importantly, um, we might have had to go through this this system or this situation that we've had, having you know continued to make payments. Now, what would that have done for the million customers that we've already got? They'd be going, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" Um, doesn't work like that. So, you know, I'm pleased as punch that we've got this position or we're now back in this position where we, we've we we've got our foundations back. And we've said this before. Colin's got a lovely analogy um, about, you know, the, the other alternatives that are in the market, particularly for, um, you know, video conferencing, is like having a two-story house. Um, and have two-story foundations, but are now trying to build a skyscraper because what they've done is they've seen what O-Connect has got and gone, ha, we'll add that. No, sorry, it doesn't work like that. By the time you get to to, to build onto your two-story property, it's going to collapse at some point because it'd never be a, a skyscraper. It's never going to get there. So we are in an extremely lucky position, if you think about it. We weren't charged, only charged the once, and that was his plan. That was for the early birds. He was anticipating and wanted to make sure that we never paid out of pocket again. Now, those million customers have got to be, um, you know, allocated. There's other customers that are waiting in the wings, but we have to get back up and running. And uh, as you guys have eloquently said this evening about the data and uh, recovery and the source coding which has gone straight over my head um <laughs> it's made sense and i thank you for that because um uh, now i understand the importance of that particular element of the business which i didn't before so as far as numbers are concerned guys look you know we, we we're going to be in a very good position very shortly. And, and that's all I'd really like to say, because I can't give you numbers. I can't give you expectations. I can't suggest that we're going to be able to do this, this and this and have this amount of money coming in. Um, we've been in a very lucky situation and a very um, advantageous position because of what our CEO has decided to do. I think that's the best way of putting it, Marcian. Back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. That was really a best way of putting it. And I believe that all of us understood. But one thing that I take again, I'm going to say, you guys see the heart of our CEO. After he have gone through what he have gone and he have lost what he have lost, he did not consider the pain and the loss as something that was enough for him to just give up. Why? Because he's a humanitarian, he's compassionate, he's a father, and he's looking up to everybody. So he look at all of that and he said, this is not what is going to make me leave my vision or what I have said that I wanted to do. So he keep going and he keep moving. So we still, we're going to really, really appreciate him for everything that he's doing. But uh, we have our brother, Peter, here. Peter has been a very successful businessman. He understood almost everything from the prosper of the OTEC Pro, what they have explained. But we want him to explain it to mm -hmm. us, like somebody that is not an IT person, but in the manner of a business person. And Peter, can you tell us where we are now as a business person, if it that happened to you, where you have been right now? Explain it to mm. us on your own way, please. Okay. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> right, okay. I just want to say uh, great information again given today by these guys. It's like a big, you know, I mean, you look at on passive and it's massive. It's 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 like what they're explaining. You just, just look at it like this. It's like a big jigsaw puzzle. I don't know if anybody's done a jigsaw puzzle, but you could have had a jigsaw puzzle with 2,000 pieces in. And somebody came along and basically broke that jigsaw puzzle up and, you know, broke it up. And then obviously it's taken time to put that jigsaw puzzle together. So Ash has had to get these people back involved and put that jigsaw back together bit by bit, put each, play, each piece back in its right place. And that's, to me, that's what these guys have explained to me. That's how I see it. 
Okay, it's been a massive jigsaw puzzle. Somebody's come along, broken it up. Okay, and Ash has had to get his guys, his team back together and putting this this the system back together again. Now, reflecting to my business, like Marcian saying, you know, I mean, you know, I've got a, a good business. I've obviously got a big uh, retail business shop, and um, it's like somebody coming in the middle of the night and taking all my stock. And I open up in the morning, I've got no stock on the shelves. I can't create any income because somebody's taken my, my stock from out of my shop. Okay, and basically this is what's happened with, with on passive. Somebody's come along, you know, and intentionally obviously tried to damage the business by taking out the data, the, the source codes, pinching the stock, pinching the products. Okay, and it, it happens. I mean, you know, it's, you know, sometimes like in business, these things do happen. I mean, I've got staff that obviously work with me with coming to do ordering and things like that. You know, if we... Um, if somebody, one of the staff or myself, miss out certain products that needs to be on the shelf for the following week, you know, and we don't order that, that means that following week, we haven't got that that product in the shop, so we're losing money. Okay, so you have to keep on top of, obviously, your business, and you have to have all the products in there to make the profits that you want to make. If you haven't got the products on the shelf, you ain't going to make the money. You know, and that's how I, how I obviously, how I look at it. Going back to what Andy Burks was saying a few minutes ago about you know um, the amount of money that was that could have been obviously created with on passive over the last if we'd have been where we wanted to be we couldn't make that money because obviously the business was damaged we had no products we hadn't got the, the access to O Connect and that's why you know we we are where we were we, we didn't have that product. Now, Ash has now come back and said he's got all the source code, got all the data that's needed. Okay, we're going to be up and running again in the next 30 days. So, I mean, that's my perspective of what has been explained today. Um, you know, these guys obviously know a lot more about this, about the background of on passive and all that. I look at it from my point of view and how I see it and how I'm comparing it with what would happen if my business, you know, was uh, the products would disappear overnight like that. So I'll pass it back to Martian and uh, we'll go further from there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Peter. Thank you for this great explanation. And uh, I know that uh, we talk about that uh, and uh, we also talk about the source code, but our topic was today was data source code and inspiration. And uh, we have uh, great people in here as usual that they can give some cut of inspiration to keep a enlighten our CEO and let him know that we are with him. And then I'm going to ask uh, to my sister, Jean Aliva, to say something about uh, what she have here so far from uh, Thursday through Friday to right now and uh, wherever she can take it to say a word, that's going to be nice. Jean Aliva, over to you. Thank you so much, Marcienne. And uh, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Uh, uh, Bob, Vincent, Oliver and Collins, you really helped us to understand by breaking down the magnitude of what what's happened you know with with all of the um the sabotage and ill intent that uh, ash has had to deal with over these you know years actually it's probably been going on for years so um the thing for me the inspiration here is that as marcian you've already said and bob as well uh the type of man that Ash is, the the internal fortitude, the calm presence of mind, the positive mindset, the always looking for solutions, the fact that he did not bring all these traumas to us um, and let us uh, sort of live in the bliss of ignorance, not knowing how bad it was. That shows his character and, and the fact that he said, I will not let this is not an exact quote, but but he, he said, I will not let the bad behavior of other people change who I am. I'm going to continue to be my good hearted self, no matter what anybody says. And that's why we're going to be different. So for me, the inspiration here is to say, OK, we could, as onlookers, say, wow, Ash is an extraordinary man. We have his mentorship for free. Marcian, you also talked about the OTEC Pro uh, uh, information that we get for free, the learning, and also the mentorship from Ash. So he he 
we could just look at him as like an other, a uh, someone to put on a pedestal and and look up to and learn from and all of that. But I think what he would have us do is say, how can we absorb and adopt those behaviors into our own lives? How can I, in my own life, look at the things that happen, the small um, challenges and traumas, and how can I look at them from that perspective of higher thinking? And how can that change my life, the way that I behave around other people and the ripple effect that that makes in the world? So for me, the fact that we have seen this man and by association, all of us, all of his teams, all of his family, we've we've gone through this uh, intense, terrifying, really challenge where where people with who would bring us down, and and I don't want to say almost succeeded, but they sure tried, right? And then by the sheer power of love and positive thinking and never giving up, and that internal strength, we have pushed through, we have slogged through the mud and come out on the other side, clean as a whistle because we never let it jade us. We never let it change us. We kept the love intact, the, the uh, integrity, that, that, um, that uh, internal compass. And we're, if we can remain true to that in our personal lives and in on passive, there is nothing that we cannot do together. So my challenge for everyone, and I'm really speaking to myself, how can I use the example that Ash Mufara has set for all of us in the, the small and the big things of my own life and by, you know, and then, and then let, letting that affect my immediate family, my friends, my, my community and rippling out so that we do have that massive transformation that on passive, on passive's vision is hoping for not just about the finance and oh bless it's not just about that it's about changing the way that we think and love and behave with one another so that is my my massive inspiration from this past week and hearing ash talk and knowing what happened and knowing how we're going to get through it and learning from our our otec brothers here uh the the detail and the wherewithal of it all i'm just i'm so grateful and um I, I'm just amazed at the caliber of people that we get to sit in the presence of on a daily basis. And I'm grateful to you all for that. And uh, I just say, let's let's hold hands, lock arms and and move forward together, trying to to take on that example of Ash Mufara. Wow. Thank you, Marcia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sister Jane. I knew that you were going to be the one to put it the how we all will get it uh, normally thank you so much but i i know my sister she always smile and uh, she enlightened us with a beautiful smile every time she come into the house and i believe that even when she was hearing our ceo talking as much as you know that it was very hard for him the smile did not go away and uh, that's our sister Gifty. And I want her to, this Sunday, this particular Sunday, to enlighten us again and give us some light of that beautiful smile. Sister Gifty, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Masini. As Brother Oliver will say, we are fine. And as Brother Bob will say, we are focused because on passive is here to stay. Uh, when I listened to our CEO last Thursday, I, I felt the pain that this man has went through. But he always comes out with a big smile on his face. But this uh, last Thursday, it hits me very hard. And I, 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 that made me to respect him more and more and appreciate him also more and more. Because he has gone through all this pain and he did not complain to anybody. He fought alone and by the grace of God, the victory has come. On passive has prevailed. I have respected him more because Mr. Ash Mofara always comes out with a big smile, not knowing what he's going through for us because he's doing this for us. All that he's doing is for us. 
if it were to be him alone, I think he has, I mean, he has been packed his things and gone long time ago, but he has been thinking of us and still standing in for us. So I really do appreciate whatever he has done for us, the fighting, the nightmares, the sleepless nights, this man has went through for me and you. We have to thank God for his life and thank God for his family for standing beside him through thick and thin. It, is, it has not been easy, but this man has fought and fought and fought and fought and fought and now victory has come. We thank God for that and we are fine. All passive is here, is here to stay. No matter what comes, no matter what happens, it strengthens us to move forward. This thing that happened has strengthened Mr. Ash more and more for him to, I mean, achieve his goal. He did not give up. He's still standing tall. He's still standing on his feet. On passive, he's still standing, kicking, moving forward. And we are soaring high because what is coming is more, 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 far better than what we have even experienced. Eyes have not seen it and ears have not heard it. All passive is here to stay. We are moving forward. We are not staying where we are. We are coming out big. As last week we said, we are coming out big, big and bigger because all passive is for humanity. It's built with heart and the CEO the, our chief captain is also with a big heart. That is why Unpassive is still standing. No matter what the enemy does, Unpassive is still standing. And that is why we always have to pray for our dear CEO and the IT teams that are working with him, the, those who are sincere with him. The fake one, thank God they are gone. But what can we say? You cannot know human beings' hearts. So we always have to pray for our company. So if even we have some uh, some, some fake ones, God will, I mean, I shine the light on them for them to, <laughs> to be cut and then removed from the company. We thank God for how far he has brought on passing. Thank you, Mama Masi, and thank you, our dear brothers and sisters. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Sister Gifty. I knew that you will bring the smile of all of us faces, even though we look at everything that has been going on with our CEO and the company, and we sometimes we get so upset and so angry because of where we were supposed to be now, but everything happened for a reason, and uh, when it happened, we don't have to sit down and mourn and say why, we just have to find a way and pick it from there and say, let us go. Let us go from where we are now and keep moving on. And that's what we as a company, we are doing right now. So I am not just uh, in the company because uh, I am seeing, uh, waiting for something that is coming tomorrow. It's because as a family, we are gaining a lot from each other. We are having compassionate talk, prayer groups, helping people left and right by knowing what they are going through and talking with them. Mm -hmm. It's also a part of this company. It's not just the technology part of the digital part that we come here for. Mm -hmm. A lot of things has been going on around the globe, but on passive have been us together and this family that we have created, he have helped us a lot for some of us to keep moving, to keep knowing where we're going, to keep having a, to keep having a hope of getting up from the bed. Because when I know that I have to call somebody that I know from on passive tomorrow to tell them about my story, it gives me that hope. It gives me that hope of getting up. So this is what we have gained for so long in this company. And I believe that just I have me, I have gained. I have my sister Mayen here. She have gained also, and she will tell us something. Now, after that, we're going to ask our papa in the house, somebody that all his life, that I, I will call it all his life, because since I know him for like how many years I've been in Unpassive, all I know, he talked day and die about Unpassive. So after Mayen, our brother Madi, we will ask him to come to the floor and tell us something. Very good. So Mayen, over to you before Brahmadi. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sister Messi, and it's so beautiful, you know, staying out here watching everybody. 
Um, um, unfortunately, I'm not seeing anyone, you know, that's the irony of what I'm going through here. But I've heard mostly what everyone has said, which is amazing, you know, and um, uh, it's so fantastic to know that we, uh, we heroes, uh, tech teams are just as powerful as those ones in Hyderabad. I tell you, I am so impressed, you know, having heard everything they've all said, you know, encouraging us, letting us know exactly that what we are into is not a failure, you know, and then having to also know that it is such a good thing that um, at least they've discovered a lot of things, you know, based on uh, what our, our brother and friend mentioned last uh, Thursday when he was on 360. He said all the source code and all the data um, has been recovered, you know. And uh, again, our, our, our brothers here, our tech brothers, also explained it further, you know, and that actually gave me a resting uh, mind, you know. So I would say it's a good thing that um, uh, we are at this stage, you know, at least we all know that we've not been wasting our time at all, you know, um, considering the fact that uh, our CEO has been so, 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 so dedicated in what he's doing and very, very fervent and in ensuring that we are going to be a success. So it's so good, you know. So that is it, um, Sister Marcian. It's, um, I am so happy, I must say. And um, I did listen to, uh, is it Oron? Oron and my, um, Mino. I woke up at about 4 a.m., uh, when it was going on, and um, I, I heard him mention that he lost a nephew of his, and I would say, um, anyway, I think God is at hand, is at play with him, and it is well. I thank God for the energy, the, the strength he's gotten, and also the zeal on doing what he's doing. You know, considering the fact that he's a man of integrity, he's pulled us up to this level. It's incredible. I really, I'm really, really grateful to God for a great man like this, that in my time, you know, he is here. So I'm so grateful that he's doing a great job and um, God will see him through. God will see all of us through in this uh, journey we've, uh, and, uh, and, uh, we've carried on. And um, indeed, we've crossed the Rubicon. The truth is here. It is done. Everything is done. Yes. Our uh, brother, um, Oliver, I always like quoting him that says it is fine. We are all fine. Indeed, we are. You know, they've done so much. They thank, I thank the tech team who have pulled our mind. You know, who have got, at first I was thinking of migration. I was thinking, oh, okay, anytime I go to this site, I, I open it, it says it's migrating. I said, okay, that's fine. But um, for them to have cleared it a lot better, you know, makes it so encouraging for me. And I'm very, very happy. Uh, to me, I was even saying to them, uh, in my mind while they were talking, I said, wow, this is technology at its zenith. You know, so I'm I'm so grateful. So Sister Mercian, you know, not to take so much time but, and also to allow others to talk. Um, I want to say I am very grateful. I'm very, very grateful to God, you know, to have uh, taken his time and caring for our CEO, and also taking good care of us and for us not to lose our data, for us not to lose any of the products. It's amazing. I just give God the glory. So what else? Hold on. Wait and see the time is here. It is well with you all. Thank you very much, Sister Marcian. I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sister Mayan. And like I said before, well, this our brother, I, I can say it day and night. Since I've been in Ompassi for the past four years and some months, the only thing I've hear from his mouth is helping, is humanity, is unpassive, is solving solution, is you have to be in. No matter what you are doing, you have to step and get in on passive. And I believe, just like he believed that, on passive is what we are going to use to help everybody around the world, included ours, including ourselves. And uh, I believe that this is the only company that is not going to be the next shining object because he said that every time. He has been there, done that, 
and this is where he stands, and this is where he stops. And that person is our brother, Machi De Gamo, and I want him to come out on the floor and tell us all from Wednesday, from Thursday, through Friday, through Saturday, and today. Machi De Gamo, the floor is all yours. It's called Machi Sunday Love. <laughs> Our Madi Sunday love. Thank you so much, Uncle Bob. I don't know where that came from. But uh, hello, everybody. Great, great, great webinar. Absolutely fantastic. Everybody did really, really good. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about, you know, the data. I don't know. Obviously, I'm not an IT guy. I understand data, though, and I know that data is money. Uh, it's worth a lot of money. In fact, they figured by... 2030, it'll be worth close to $2 trillion worldwide. $2 trillion. To put that in perspective, if you spent $10 million a day, it would take you 2,500 years to go through it. That's a lot of money. And when you get a lot of, I'll, I'll tell you, some companies will build a company, they give away trinkets, they give away stuff that's worth nothing. To get your name and email that's that's all they're really trying to do and and there's one out there now doing the same thing and when they do it they compile a bunch of data and they sell it to one of the big big dogs that's all they're doing uh in fact some of the other companies that you think are maybe mlm and they run like three months they're collecting data and selling stuff you could get from ebay most of the time but to go back to unpassive yes it was a big deal that uh, they were able to lock all that up and find it and put it back in place. And like like everybody's been saying, now they're going through it, seeing if any little pieces are missing. Um, but Ash was really upbeat. That's the most upbeat I've seen him in, in the last three months, really, since June. So that was a great thing. But he also put into perspective, even with all that going on, and the nastiness that went on in the very company that he built, trusting some people as family, actually. We don't know who did what, but somebody did something bad. And it sounds like more than one person. And during all that, he loses a nephew after walking through the fire. To put a perspective on it, he just said, bad things happen to good people. They just do. And it's, it's like, we have no guarantees. Last night, he sent me a, an email that some founder wrote him. It was absolutely beautiful. I think he'll share it. But, and I, you know, we, I had said to him, I said, you know, that's the, the crazy thing about Unpassive is rational thinking, 2020 vision people could not see Unpassive. I had marketer friends and all that. They just, they didn't get it. They had no idea. But look at the people that did get it. It's people that maybe didn't have perfect eyesight, but they had a perfect heart, right? He drew in people that were kind-hearted, meant always looking for helping others. Yes, we want to help ourselves, but why did we relate? It was that. Even if language tried to put a barrier, what brought us together was our feelings towards how things should be. When I got an MLM, I thought, it only made sense. Everybody wins. We all do well. Blah, 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 blah. It was naive. It's sad that that's not the normal, but it's not. And I thank God every day that Ash isn't normal. He's never been normal. He wasn't normal the first time I met him. And that's what made me really gravitate towards on passive was he's doing something nobody's ever done. He wants to build a marketing system that he would build for himself personally and scale it so that everyone can use it, which makes you all expert marketers. And he wants to see other people succeed. He had even said one of the happiest times for the Mafara family was a year ago today when people started making money. One of the happiest days in the whole five, six years that he did it was seeing finally people starting to make money. Now, obviously, there was a trip fall and a bang and explosion and it didn't work, which I think we're finding out now that some of that was maybe deliberate. But anyway, like he said, they, 
the, the some people even within on passive underestimated the movement of on passive even when they came in without the 2020 vision of their heart and had greed or whatever they wanted it didn't work they underestimated the very business they were in they were treading in the same water they just didn't get it it's just like the government tried to do something and then we we have this mess and you're right a normal person going through this crap would have walked away but Ash looked at it like, I can't walk away from Gina Levo and Vince and Otec Pro's Minnow, Key Wendell, uh, Man, uh, Andy, my engineer Mike, Francine, uh, Peter. I can't walk away from them. Why? He didn't, that's who he built it for. And he said, I can replace that. Now, I don't know if we know, but we're talking maybe tens, multiple tens of millions of dollars that has been who knows what. Now, they'll probably get back some, They probably, but whatever. He, he, he said, that doesn't matter. What matters is when that, when, and I visualize this, I think I had a dream of it, where there's fire and smoke and all that, and you're waiting for something to happen, and Ash walked out of it and just kind of dusted off his pants and said, okay, we're still okay. It's like, oh my God, what a crazy man. Real, I really, I just thought, you got to be kidding. I knew something was wrong. I felt something was wrong. I didn't know. I remember talking to Tech Pros maybe last November. And I said, something's not right. Something's not right. And I, and I would throw stuff at us, little things. He said, when did you feel it? When did you feel it? Well, why is he asking, when did I feel it? Finally, I found out. <laughs> because it was something wasn't right. A lot of the stuff didn't make sense because I knew his level was off the chart. He was a, before on passive, if you looked up Ash Mufara, he was the gift of MLM or anything he touched. He had the Midas touch. Companies were going after him every single day. They wanted Ash Mufara because they knew he could build it, build for the company. He knew it. And you know what Ash did, what people don't know? In these companies where they did bad mouth them as time went on, he built systems and paid for it out of his pocket to hand to people for free so that he could duplicate what he's doing. Really. And I look in some of these old chats where people are bad mouthed, they go, look, this thing here took advantage. That thing there he built and gave to them. He didn't charge anybody for it. But that's what happens out in the world. People that don't understand, they automatically bad mouth. I don't try to change them. They've been around for thousands of years. Different names, different people, different color, ugly, fat, tall, bald. You got negative people. They're never going to go away. Never. They're not our concern. They can do whatever they want to do. Had a guy tell me, oh, I can't believe you're doing it. I can't believe I said, I can't believe you're telling me I'm wrong for six years. What are you doing? Man, that's got to be a boring life. You're chasing me around. Obviously, it didn't work. Why don't you go bark up another tree? Does that make sense? But anyway, um, I, I believe, and I mean this, I believe this coming year, the next couple of weeks, I, I think in a couple of weeks, we're going to see something anyway. But from then on, we're going to go into something that Ash meant for us two years ago. And, and I, I don't think you're going to be just surprised. I think you're going to be overwhelmed. I think people that are even telling you in on passive, no, 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 this is, they'll be back. They'll, they'll, their mouths will be quiet and they'll be sitting in the corner, but they'll be in on passive. And the family members that told you no, this is, a, they'll be in. Everybody told you no. 99% will be in. I don't even worry about them. I don't worry about family. I don't worry about goofy cousins. I don't care. My family's here. They can join this family, you know, or they don't. But my family's here. I have no friends my age, really, outside of Unpassive. So that's why I'm here. Why am I here? I am drawn to you for who you are. Not because... You're great at math, not because you speak a certain language, not because of what religion you are. I'm here because of how, who you are. 
and I know without a doubt, if you don't take advantage of Unpassive, you're crazy. Because I don't care what you do or what your passion is, you can make it blow up a million times more than you could imagine using the platform of Unpassive. And let's remember something. We look at the digital products. I believe with all my heart, that's just a little bit of Unpassive. I think there's so much more that we're going to be involved in, if you want to, it'll just, it'll be so much fun building and helping other people in the world because you don't have a, you don't have to worry about a rainy day. It never rains and I'm passive. You worry about money when you run out, you're not going to run out. I don't believe it. And I believe use it for everything you can. In that meeting last week, he brought up the data and getting the data back and and I know there was people going, oh, but what did he say right at the end? The old tech pros will know what I'm talking about. Ask them. That's how much faith he has in them too. He knows, they know. And that's a big deal. And you have people that you can follow. The most powerful men in the business in the world are in non-passive. The most powerful women in the world are in non-passive. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Because look, when you have a big heart, doesn't mean... You have to be meek and pulled up into a corner and tuck your tail in. You need to stand tall, be tall, and be proud. That doesn't mean be a bully. It doesn't mean be nasty. But we should be proud of what we're in. Don't go to somebody negative. It does take away from you. It will drain your battery. Don't even rub up against negativity. Osmosis will just drain you dead. So I don't. There's no reason to. I've got too many people here. I'm going to go talk to somebody that's well, he, I'm going to try to convince him. That's not my job. It's like trying to convince a banana that it's an orange. I don't care how long you talk. It's still a banana. <laughs> you could go crazy. A week later, it's a freaking banana. Yeah. So let's work with each other. There's a lot of people outside of Unpassive that weren't meant to be founders, but they're meant to be an Unpassive. Remember that. All the people that you know, I kind of can't believe they can't see this. Why won't they come in? They weren't meant to be a, a founder. It's that simple. Like it, don't like it, whatever. But there's tens of millions that are. And you look at the data, just so you get, you know, a $2 trillion industry by 2030. $2 trillion. And what is that? It's a bunch of little digits, this and this and this. It's money, big money. It's up there with the Bitcoins and the gold and silver. It's only going to get more and more powerful. You're part of it. Because I want to tell you something. If this company makes a trillion dollars a year and ass pays what he wants to pay, a big chunk of that's going somewhere. And you call me all the names you want. All right? Then it won't matter anyway. I don't care about that. Stick with each other. And another thing, if you want to say something or do something and you don't, if you're hanging with somebody that makes you feel like you're not, you don't, you keep your mouth shut, I talk, you'd be quiet, you're in the wrong place. Go somewhere where your voice can be heard. Anyway, that's all I got. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Brahmadi. And uh, I think uh, going for everything that Brahmadi just said, I have picked one thing and I'm gonna cut me because uh, what Maggie just said, and I am the full brand of uh, example of coming from nowhere to somewhere because of Unpassive. So some years ago, I was not able to speak to people, but today I am here and this is the fruit of uh, this great company that we are all in. It's not just about IT, as Maggie said, it's always about uh, learning, growing, and having other things in life that you can use the platform for. And now we are using the platform of Unpassive to become who we were supposed to be in the first time. So we can only and always thank our Ash Mufara for giving us this opportunity to make up us realizing that we are somebody and we can become who we wanted to be or what God has designed us to be in life. So we just have to come up Get up from your comfortable chair and be you and come to Unpassive and your life is going to change. Not only on the prospect of 
IT, but in other things, and you will have friends and family because we are all family in here. And uh, talking about family, I have some of our family members that have joined us, and um, we we know we don't, we are out of time, so I'm just going to give them like two two minutes to say something, and I'm going to start from uh, my sister Mino. She was here in the beginning. She went to the chat. So, Sister Mino, after yeah. what Mama yeah. has said, you take it your own way and you fly with it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, thank you for this uh, opportunity. Despite the heartbreak and the weight of grief, Mr. Ash showed up on OP360, held it together, and shared a significant step, successful step with us in our passing. How many of us can do that? Mr. Ash's strength in the middle, in the middle of this chaos, I'm trying to hold it together, sorry is a testament to his character and dedication. And all he wants from us is to show support. He says, despite the fact that everything is happening to me, I am happy because of you. And he said, said because of in, not individual you, humanity, and that is his objective. That's all he asks us. So please stay, stand, we stand. With Ash, so stay behind Ash and stay positive and stay engaged. Thank you. Wow, thank you, thank you, Sister Mino. I feel the emotion, and we all do the same. And uh, yeah, but one thing I'm going to say is uh, a company, most of the time, we have 20% uh, of the people in everything that are the people that they hold whatever is going on in life. And I believe that us that come here every time, we are the 20%. And if it's not us, who is going to do it? So we have to do it. And meanwhile, we don't have to look at those that they are not doing it. We have to do it for those people who were meant for that. And uh, we are the 20%. Who is going to bring this company up and being behind our CEO very solid and the other people were meant to be in for us to redirect them. So I'm going to ask my sister Francine to say a word that now she's in. She's traveling all over the world. I don't know where she's in right now, maybe in France or Germany or any country. Francine, over to you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Sister Marcien. Um, I am so happy to hear those voices here talking about family. We are such a big and beautiful family. I'm so happy wherever I am, I can turn on my computer and be with you sharing what we have today, which is the vision to change the world we live in. And... Um, I just see that whenever there is a difficulty, whenever there is a challenge, the family has to come together. And as uh, uh, Sister Minu said it so well, what helps our CEO to perform, to deliver, is whenever he knows that we gather like this and we have at hurt to live to humanity. We put aside whatever could come and jeopardize what we are doing, and we send positive energy. We insufflate positive energy into our project, which is on passive. Without on passive, we would not be all of us here gathering here. This is what brought all of us together it's like the blood we have going inside our, our veins. That blood is the love we want to share with humanity. And as we do that, we give strength to Unpassive. We give strength to our CEO. I was traveling, but I kept on finding information from 360 and when I read that data were recovered at 100%, I thank God because this could happen only because we have one hurt. 
If we divide ourselves, this will, this will just collapse. And I encourage all of us to keep on. We don't have to, to, to abandon. We don't have to, to stop. We have to keep hope. We have to keep moving. And we have to keep ourselves very strongly on holding our hands together so that that energy will pull our CEO in order to finalize what is very, very, very soon, the success of loving, the success of changing the world. I truly believe that. And uh, I just call all of us, let us keep that positivity and let us keep being united in whatever we do. We can have something that puts us aside, but not when we have to deliver that baby. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Francine. That's what they call commitment. Even traveling, you have to set aside and look for where is your family and join them so that you guys can come in together during the, the, the hour that we usually sit on the table as today, Sunday. So I see my brother, Kiwende, yeah, he's back. Kiwende, I know you've been listening to us and uh, you have a lot to say, either in the motivation side part of it or IT part of it, wherever you want to take it from. We I have, you have two minutes to tell us something. <laughs> I can say it quicker than that. Thank you. One of my favorite words in the English language is ditto. When you have nothing else to add to what everybody here has said so gracefully and better than I can say it myself, um, I'm proud to be friends with all of you and in this family. And uh, I'm, I'm amazed each time I hear Ash at his character and who he is. Most of you know that I I used to work in a very stressful environment um, of dealing with life and death and dealing, death is part of life, but in dealing in, in seeing how families react to terrible situations and not a single person here knew what Ash was going through at the time that he was going through it. And we, you couldn't read it on his face. And I don't think he shared it because he was more concerned about our feelings and what we were going through and the stress that some of us were experiencing and, you know, what's going on with our passive. So I just, I'm blessed to know him. Um, I've come very close with many of you here and I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready to see what's next. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. What next? We are going to be united family. I believe so. And uh, we are going to just go out and do what the company is asking us and what we are coming here for, the humanitarian part of it. That's what is going to be next, according to me. And uh, my sister Ava, I don't know what time it is where you are right now, but we will give you at least uh, two minutes to say something because we are running out of time. Sister Ava, thank you. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Um, it's um, for, uh, 50 years where I am. Um, I, I don't have anything much to say because uh, everyone out here are such eloquent people. And I always say this. And, um, but you know, I, I I would just like to say that I'm really touched by, I was uh, touched by Ash when uh, we were hearing him, everything was fine. But when he came out with his story, that literally inside me, something went like, oh my Lord. I mean, he, he he's doing so much and yet he's got his own personal problems to see to. And then he has to come and deal with us. And within us, there are so many morons that they, they, they just come up and they literally give him a hard time, which 
is unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. I'm not, I'm definitely not a tech person, but I'm giving you what I feel uh, regarding him. When he said about his nephew, it was so touching. But he had such a straight face and he said, life moves on. He never let that, that part of his life affect us. He could have he could have easily said, okay, what do I care? Go ahead, do whatever you'll have to. I don't need to do anything. But no, the gentleman that he is, he's sticking to his words and his promises. So for God's sake, people out there who are trying to pull him down, look, look and see what he is made of. Look and you cannot do anything you cannot support him but don't try to pull him down and we he needs our moral support that's all we can do we can do nothing we can only pray for him and we can give him our moral support and that's what he needs the most and that's all I have to say thank you Marcian thank you everyone Thank you. Thank you, Sister Ava. Thank you so much. We appreciate you and we know that you always uh, try your best to come and join us as a family wherever we go. And no matter the time from different parts of the country. And that's what makes us a universal company because on Passive is everywhere and it's for everyone. So thank you so much for being here. So and uh, because today we have to talk about data discovery and uh, source code, I think we have to go back and uh, to where, let me just quote it like back to the source. <laughs> and uh, uh, our tech programs are here. I want to screw as much as we, we can in them to take home this week. Uh, waiting for next weekend for our brother Ash to come and add more on it. We have to source more on them. So I'm going to go back to our brother Vincent and I'm going to ask him a question. And uh, this might be like a statement before we, we get close because we have like almost some few minutes left. But I want the OTEC Pro guys to tell us a little bit more about this uh, data discovery. And I know that when Vincent was talking about the data, he told us everything was, uh, we don't have to know, we don't have, we just want to understand. He told us uh, everything was uh, getting in, they have got everything on it. We, as layman people that we are just in the company, we don't know if they just take a back and go there and pick it one by one and put it and tie it and bring it in the house. So Vincent, can you, can you enlighten it for those that they're coming after? I know that you have said it before, but as much as you say it, it's better for us to get it in. So please don't worry about repeating it. We want people to really get where we came from and where we were before we are right now. So go back again and try to say it for us one more time, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sister Marcian. But I'm talking about the data recovery. So the data recovery in every business or every company, they have a, a database system. You know, when you go to OES, OFunder, or on Passive.com, we have always all these big uh, websites we see, we have a database behind. So when you click or looking for any information, we as a user, we can see it. So those people sitting behind, the IT people can see that every website, we have a database behind. So any information, when you go to the website, you want to buy stuff, you want to do anything, always the information you put in the website, the retrieve from the database. So there's a back, a database seat behind. So because of business continuity, you don't want this all this information, like anything happened to the, the website, and then someone say, oh, we lost everything. It's a lot of money that the company will, it will go away from that. And the same thing, like all the CCA job, it can go away just like that. So it's a lot of money. So data is money. So what happened? We call a system in a database or IT jargon a backup. So the backup is a copy of all your system. All the information coming to your IT environment, we copy them. So they call it a backup. 
and then save them in a uh, put them in a safe place. It could be a storage area. It could be on this cloud. It could be on a big disk everywhere. So in case we have a issue like war on Pasi, our business continuity issues, we use those backup to restore because the copy that we have it will bring it to a different computer system to restore them. So it's a system to recover everything that you save. It's like a copy of your, you, let's say you go to your computer, you copy your computer to your pen drive, a, a USB stick. And then in case your computer is damaged, all the information that you put on your on the uh, pen stick USB drive, you can go to your new computer, plug it in there, and then you can restore them everything back to your computer. So that's the big thing. The same scenario happened in IT system. They call it backup. So they can they have a backup. They can copy the whole IT system in a big storage area. It depends also of the, the the amount of the data we have. It could be huge data. So we have a huge storage. So we put everything there. It could be in the cloud. It could be anywhere. Then when we have a disaster, like we have any problem, like it could be na natural disaster can happen in many times we see in the United States. When we, we found that this region, there's a big disaster and then everything's gone, even electricity, everything. So we should not worry. In IT, we use it, the disaster recovery. So the backup, the copy of your system is stored somewhere so they can take it and then restore the system back like the way it used to be. Let's say we have a disaster, a big disaster in somewhere in the world, and then where the IT system is store everything there. Because of the backup of what we, we kept for the system, we can go to the different area of the world and then restore all the business system to that area. And then it will be like everything starts from where we left the system. So let's say we have a crash yesterday, and then we want to restore, we can restore the, that, the whole company's data back to where the crash happened yesterday. Even we can say, okay, we can restore up to yesterday, two o'clock, and then the system can do it, to restore to the point where the system crashed. So this is the, the what happened in the uh, IT environment. So the backup and recovery system, the system to restore what we, we keep somewhere, and then restore to a different area and a different place. It could be a different country. We can restore in everywhere in the world. So this is what happened in a when we say we're restoring the data. This and so in a business area, we call it business continuity, backup and disaster recovery. So disaster recovery is to restore everything. So if we, let's say everything we have in on passive, O Connect, O Mail, O Trim, O Tracker, our name, username. So we back up all this information. And then the source code, all those products that uh, we have, there's a code to meet those products. So we copy everything. So they put in a place called backup. And then when anything happens, we need them. We use the restore system to restore the information that we kept somewhere. And then those information is also secure. Because if we don't put our security in that information, Anyone can go in there, or maybe someone like Collins or Bob, his IT person, he can go there, catch the information, and go and restore somewhere and then use it. But make the security system on passive put in place. No one can go in, and even if you go in, you get the information, you cannot restore anywhere else because of the security system that on passive has put in place. So this is a, make it more difficult for anyone else to get the information and go ahead. But because the company is for Mr. Ash, those people there, they can get the, those information and then they can go and restore anywhere else or maybe in all the website, everything, all are safe. So they can use it to restore and then we can get everything back the way it used to be. So since on the 24th June, where we left it, you will get exactly everything there. Nothing is lost, all the information is there. That's why Mr. Ash said, we get everything 100%. So all the information that we have, since the website, everything is done, all the website, all the product, username, our numbers of account we have, even in the wallet, how many money you have in your wallet, everything is copied. And then now we can restore this information and then nothing is lost, everything is back. So we get everything 100% the way we left it, even with the minute, because 
if the system crashed yesterday on 24, 2 o'clock, you can restore back to that time we left it. So we get everything intact. Nothing has lost. So we get everything back to the system. I hope I answered the question. Yes, indeed, you answered the question. And thank you guys so much. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, we are running out of time. But I'm going to just, we are going to the close. We're not going to take too long. I know I want my old tech pro guys to be the one closing. And I thank God my brother, Amadi, have put his hand up. Maybe he can just close the statement for us. Bro, Amadi. Bro, yeah, I, I, I just want to say, whatever, in the next few weeks, when Ash comes out, he's going to want us, he's going to give us marching orders, right? What we need to do. We need to pay attention and do what he says we need to do and if we all do that we'll we'll get this train going like it should be and we're going to move on to chapter two and i think uh, like i said that's going to be a fun ride so but uh he'll anything going on you know if you hear it from somebody else make sure you hear it from ash mcfarland that's all just make sure you hear it from ash mcfarland because who knows my who a lot of people adding stuff you know the other day when Ash said in that meeting, uh, one of the times that the Mufaras were the happiest is when people started getting paid. Somebody cut that one section out and made a video out of it saying, um, passive founders are getting paid now. Yeah, that's what we have going on. So, but when you see that, report it. Say it to somebody. The look it's like it's from India. Go to uh, Gershwinder right away let him go after it okay but that's what somebody did right away made a video took it out of context hey founders are getting paid is this true no that's not what he said you only got one little bit of it but i'm just saying that's what people do so you know you, we all know better if you're plugged in you'd know that's not true anyway i think we need to be ready when he says here's what we need to do let's do it and have some fun we'll work together anyway thank you that's all I wanted to say. Yeah, thank you, Bro Amadi. I think we're going to just uh, use the opportunity of what our brother Amadi just said to end uh, the webinar here. And uh, this has been a great, great Sunday and a great beginning of the week and uh, beginning of the month also. And uh, we want to use this opportunity to thank everybody that came in today to listen to us. And uh, please do come again. We do this every Sunday at the same time. And uh, we also have uh, Shine the Line that our Brody Madi do every day at uh, 9 a.m. So please tune in. And if you know someone that has been hiding somewhere that have it been in Unpassive or intended to come to Unpassive, bring them in. Let them come and express themselves. We want to know our family member. We want to know the people that we live in the house with. It's not only Brahmaji that does that. Our sister Julie Wen, she have had to have that. She does almost, I don't know, maybe it's a Monday or any day of the week. We all know her. She has been in the Unpassive as long as I am in. She started with, they were the one doing Julie Amalo's show. We know them very well. Please contact them. And we have our sister Comfort Comfort. She's one of the iron lady that we all know in Unpassive. Wherever the stone is, she's going to lift it up and look what is under. She's very strong, powerful also. So please contact her. If you have something to say and you feel that you don't have a voice, go to her. She will tell you and she will redirect you. She's very good on that. Actually, she's my mentor. What I'm doing today, she she made me doing this. So <laughs> I, I'm going to give kudos to her and thank her for that. So we also have our brother, Red Reverend. He does the chair. And we all know our highest man in the house was already sitting on that chair. Why not you? If you are in UK, ask to go and sit on that chair and know how, feel how he is. So contact our brother, Red Reverend in UK, and uh, you will be sitting on that chair and feel it. Um, we also have, uh, I think, so many people, included I and uh, my brother, Engineer Mike. Let me cut him. We do uh, clean, clean d'oeil. In French, it means shine the light, clean d'oeil. So we put in an eye to the people that they are hiding out there. We do it in French. So if you are a French-speaking person and you feel like you don't have a voice, 
our platform is a place for you to be. Come in and we will enlighten you and let the world see you. And the family of Unpassive that we are, we will all see you. And we have our trivial that we do every night. Please, if you need phone time, if you just want to come and have fun, if you have something that is not you are not happy for, come to the trivial. And you will, by the end of the day, you will feel that you have a family and somebody to talk to. It's every night. On the Friday also, now is not only no all. The new name now is Let's Celebrate. Every Friday night, we will be celebrating now. And don't forget that the 360 will come. We don't know if it's going to be on Thursday or on Wednesday. That will be always be posted. And all those channels are on the top 360. So if you are not available to come to any of those webinars, just check online the top 360 and any of the YouTube channel. You will not miss any of our edition while it's going on online. It was my pleasure to be your moderator today. My name is Please, you forget Andy. Andy show also. Andy oh, the and blueprint. Andy. The blueprint. The blueprint. <laughs> How can Marcia, I forget Marcia, my brother no, Andy? Uh, 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 apologies. <laughs> there will be no no um um uh, OP digital blueprint this Tuesday. I am away for a week. I'm on oh. holiday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our brother. Andy Marcian, can I add something, please? Um. I was going to uh, mention that tomorrow, Bob Takusi is under the shining the light. Yes, so let's yes, blast the chat. Yes. Also, Jeffrey Morlock has done the shine the light under the name Beautiful People. Okay, okay Beautiful People. Wow, that's good. You, you guys see our family is keeping growing and growing. So how can I forget my brother Andy? And uh, he does this show with, who else do you know? The manna from heaven. So that is every Tuesday and uh, every Thursday. And uh, you just have to go to those channels, hook up on these people, information are out there about this company blooming everywhere. I'm telling you, if you want to be happy, just like I am, make yourself available to be in Unpassive. It's the only place that the joy will come in the morning, like we said. This is the place to be. And uh, again, please, Tune in tomorrow morning and it's Labor Day. Our brother, the only one you all know. We call it Uncle Bob. We call him Bibi. We call him the Bob of the Takusi. We call him every name that you can call, the old tech pro guy. Tomorrow, he's going to be on Shine the Line. Make yourself available to be there. It's going to be the hot one. It's going to be the best one. And guess what? Our brother, Mari. And our friend, Chris Johnson, will be there also. So thank you guys all. Remember your why every day. If you remember your why every day, you will not miss a damn minute to be in Unpassive. Your why is very important because your why is what keeps you every day in here. Don't listen to anybody. Remember your why you joined this company in the first day and let us keep moving. Thank you and happy Sunday. See you next Sunday. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Love Bye -bye. you, everybody. See you. Bye. Bye, Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Love Bye. Everyone. Thank you. Bye. See you same Bye. time.